my coach's name out your freaking mouth. Keep my coach's name out your freaking mouth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Bama Standard, and we are brought to you by Workspace Solutions and Oakmont Financial Partners. Stop what you're doing right now. Hit like, hit subscribe, and also follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at the Bama Standard. You can also go watch old episodes on our YouTube channel, the Justin Riley Network. I'm your host, Justin Riley. With me, as always, is an all-SEC legend, linebacker, Mr. Marvin Constant, comedy legend, Steve Brown, senior analyst of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, who keeps Paul Feinbaum employed, Stephen M. Smith, and the pride of Utah, and the offensive MVP of this past weekend of the USFL, Mr. Bo Scarborough. What's up, fellas? Hey, man, Bo, Bo, hey, first down, Bo, you did your yeah. thing, man. You did your thing. Hey, but I I, I, I got a question real quick. Who, who, who is that up top or that's taking up all of the screen? He kind of big. All of it. All the HD. <laughs> and then he, he looks like, like he eat people. Who is that? Stephen M. Smith. That's what you got here. Hey, amen. <laughs> Stephen M. Smith, hey, your cue. Introduce the man. We're talking about one of the greatest – Defensive line transfers yeah. in the history of the seven era Why coming you over from the transfer in there though, man. Cause he trans did his thug fizzle, man. Man, you know this man, ain't where fizzle. you start, it's where you finish. It's where you finish. So I get it. I get it. Appropriate. I get it. Get it. Black man from Australia, number 54, a national champion. The monster, <laughs> Jesse Williams, baby. Hey, 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 man. Let me say that. That right there. Now that was deserving. That was a hell of an intro. But one thing I don't ever want you to do. Don't you ever get in the camera like that again. The monster. <laughs> You're looking over your glasses. Don't do that. You see how I look. Don't do that ever again. Okay. As a matter of fact, you get rid of him. Don't do that ever. <laughs> yeah jesse when's the last time you've gotten an intro like that uh it's been a while it's been a while <laughs> well if you ever go to the I wwe saved, i should have saved it i could have listened to it later i know right <laughs> that's what the replay is for but if you ever go to the wwe <laughs> bring this man with you so he can call you to the ring <laughs> that's right i'll keep that in mind <laughs> well, guys, we got a great show tonight. As you see, Mr. Jesse Williams is here. Trader Priest will be joining us shortly, but also a young man, uh, a young Alabama fan by the name of Logan, who is uh, battling a rare heart condition, is going to be on in just a few minutes. Okay. And uh, we're going to surprise him with some of these Bama legends we have on here and try to okay. make his day. But before we get to that, we already talked about it a little bit. Mr. Bo Scarborough, you went off. You let everybody oh, know happened, that man. you arrived, my my friend. Man, what happened, man? Knew you, I just knew you were about to talk about that, Justin. Man, we got to, man. We got to give you a shine, man, my friend. Man, hey, how, how many yards you get, man? A uh, hundred and four more than you would have if you'd have been out there. <laughs> Hey man, shut up, uh, Marvin. That's why your left nipple showing. Be quiet. <laughs> I always got to get attention, hey, doesn't he, Steve? I can see your yeah. post game stats now, Steve. 37 carries for one yard. <laughs> hey, man, be quiet, man. Hey, but what happened, man? What what, 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 what was it? Did, did, uh, did mama get in your ear and say, hey, you better look, make me look bad? What happened? What, what? what happened, bro? We just had a great team win. You know what I mean? Everybody did just time. Block who they supposed to block up the lane for me. You know, it was a, yeah, a team thing. You know, you hey, know. Man, I really, I really believe that the other team had linebackers that played like Marvin Constant. That's why you were so that was that's why you were so able to run through the hole. I, hey, man. I believe, man. You you was late I to believe. the pre you was late to the pre-show meeting. Jesse said if he was on defense, Bo wouldn't have had a hundred yards rushing. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Thoughts, Jesse? Now, Bo, like Bo, when you jumped over that dude and scored, how far was that being in the air? Jumping over the old dude. Say, say that again. When you, when you jumped over old boy and stretched the ball and scored, like, like, how, how much fun was that right there? Jumping over old dude. Yeah, it, it, it was cool. 
you know, I, I wish I would have jumped a little earlier though, so he couldn't grab my grab my. I, I would have been showing sure up in the air. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, Steve. man, I'm gonna tell you, hey, hey Steve. Stephen M. Smith with them 3D glasses on, it's like he jumped through the TV in your house, didn't he? You thought he was in your <laughs> living room. He did. Hey, hey, he did. Hey, he did. Why you did. on that man? No, I ain't look. sure, but hey, hey, when I saw Bo dive in the end zone, I promise you, I, I, it felt like, man, I felt like I pulled all three of my groins. I promise you, I did. <laughs> 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 You are stretching out like that, man. Come on. I, man. I, I do have a bone to pick with your quarterbacks, man. Every time you do the work and get the ball down to the go goal line situation, they call their own number and they take it in, man. What's going on with that? Oh no, man. I I, I couldn't tell you. Hey, 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 that's that, that's called white boying. That's white boying. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, J Mar is black, so huh? That's clear. That hey, wait, Kenny son. Son. Kenny, no, that's Kenny Smith's son. So J Mar gonna do whatever J Mar wanna do. If he anything like his daddy, Kenny Smith, that I played with at Alabama. That's right. J Mar gonna do whatever J Mar wanna do. Yeah, it's white boy. White boy. <laughs> I seen something uh, power right. That's what that's what the play is called. I seen something. I seen I, I, I kid you not, Kenny, man, I seen something, Kenny. You supposed to be in the three gap. Why are you in a wide nine? Man, I seen something. You seen that guard and that tackle get up on my ass. That's what you seen. Cause you ain't doing what you supposed to do. <laughs> hey, uh, before Logan jumps on, Jess, I do have to answer a question. I heard a rumor, man, and that uh you weren't much of a barbecue fan. Has that changed uh since your days in Tuscaloosa? Where'd you hear that? <laughs> you look like a barbecue fan. What you doing? Yeah, no. All up in the kitchen. He got on some he got on some Dreamland underwear right now. You got to be a barbecue. All right. Guys, yeah. I, I gotta interrupt. Uh our, our guest is here. So uh Jess, I'm gonna take you off screen. Bo, I'll take you off screen too, so I'll give you the cue. Man, we'll see you in just a minute. This kid gonna be so happy to see me. <sighs> well, that's the first thing that we heard about from his parents, Man. actually. So what kid ain't happy? <laughs> what kid ain't happy to see the hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Stephen L. Smith, would you please introduce him for us? The we man. got we got a very special guest in here today. That wants to see some Alabama legends, some Alabama people, talk some Alabama football. He got the number 18 helmet right here. My young man fighting right here. My man Logan is here. Logan! Logan! Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, Logan, first off, man, first off, man, welcome to the show, man. I'm Steve Brown. I played outside linebacker, uh, at, not at Bama, but in Little League Para. But that's as far as I got. But still, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that. That's all. I wanted to let you know. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and with us is 1999 All-SEC linebacker from Alabama, Mr. Marvin Constant, there on the top screen. Yay. Senior analyst of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, Stephen M. Smith. And I'm just a guy who gets to hang out with some cool guys. <laughs> What's going on, Logan? Hi. How you doing? Lo Logan, I'm, you looking I'm good, good, man. You looking good. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, keep Thank fighting, you. man. We're in your corner. And you know what? Come back with some of some, well, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, show him yours. Show him yours. Show okay, him yours. Tell, him, yeah. tell him his arm, his arm, his bicep like a can of open biscuits. Uh, <laughs> I know Logan. Oh, he ready. Logan, Logan's challenging me. Logan, don't do that. Don't challenge me, Logan. Don't do that. <laughs> well, uh, how, first of all, how did the operation go today, man? How are you feeling after that? I'm pretty sore, but other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm hanging in there. That's what's up. That's well, I, I heard hang in there, uh, hang in there. I heard that you uh, have always wanted to meet Alabama players. Is that right? Yes. Well, on our show, every week we always have uh, a legend or two or three. And I just want to let you know it's no different this week. So, first of all, let me bring in one of the most baddest men on the defensive line, Mr. Jesse Williams, uh, two-time national champion. <laughs> Back-to-back -back national champion, that is. And then, oh, yeah, we got a co-host that did his thing, too. 
Mr. Bo Scarborough. But yeah, man, this is your Logan, opportunity. Hold on, Logan. But remember, You're... I'm the most important of all of them, though. Okay, I'm this guy. Steve, did he say the oldest? <laughs> yeah, the oldest. The oldest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he the oldest. Hey, Logan. As a matter of fact, I don't know if he told you that's Marvin Constant. He was a linebacker at Bama before uh, Coach Bryant got there. Yeah. Ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Do that. <laughs> So he's old. He's old, Logan. He's old. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that old, Logan. Well, I'm going to turn it over to you, Logan. What uh, Do you have any questions for these gentlemen up here? I know that being a fan, man, you probably got a lot. So I'll let you go ahead and start talking to these two guys right here. Um, Watch him ask me some questions. <laughs> Steve wants you to ask, ask him a question. Ask me anything you want to ask, Logan. Ask me anything. Bo, <laughs> uh, how, how was it playing for Coach Saban? He asked. He asked me, right? Yeah, you first, and then Jesse. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. Um, you know, one thing I like about Coach Saban, he uh, grow as a, he grow as a better person, and you know, help us um, handle our own responsibility and uh, handle you know integrity, and you know, teach us how to be mentally and strong, physically, and you know, to put in effort. So towards whatever we want in life, and you know he 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 great guy all around. Uh, yeah, he very he. You know, a lot of people don't on the inside. You know, he he he, he like to joke a little. Overall, man, he's uh he. Cool. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I think Saban is uh. He's underrated as a human being. He's one of the best people I've got come in contact on my on my tours around the U.S. And um, I guess one of my favorite things playing was it was very disciplined. It was very tough. Um, so, you know, if you made it through and you played and obviously you won, uh, you put in the hard work. Um, but he definitely, yeah, he taught some great lessons. And like Bo said, he, he turns boys to men. And uh, I feel like I was – I was grateful to be one of to one of those guys as well. Yeah, and Logan, I uh, personally I played for Jimbo Fisher, and he sucked, so I went to Alabama. But I still get in the game, so I quit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so uh, he uh, both of them play for championship teams. Maybe ask him about what that. What was that about? How was that like the plan for? National championship. Well, like, before all that happened in 1999, we won an SEC championship. So I can tell you all about how this happened. He didn't ask about how it's like to play in the Independence Bowl, Marvin. <laughs> we played in the Bowl in Miami, BCS Bowl, sir, and we lost to Michigan with Tom Brady on their team. So Ryan don't do that, that. <laughs> I, I, I think his question was national championship, not, <laughs> not the Birmingham Bowl. But go ahead, Bo, go ahead. <laughs> uh, it's a great experience, and uh, you know that that's um, the only college football game and played. So you know the world watching you um, is it, it, it's it's a it's a dream come true. It you know, it's very hard to uh, be on one of the biggest stages in college football and uh you know millions of people are watching and, uh you know greatest team you know in the u.s and it, it it just you know a great experience to be a part of it. and um you know i, I had fun you know yeah yeah I would, I would say the same i think it was i mean me being from australia it was a good opportunity for everyone in the world to, to see me play. And um, for me personally, I think playing the national championship was so crazy being around like that whole week around all the other guys and a lot of the, the old players as well. Um, and just to see like the tradition that's involved, like being a part of, you know, having my name like carved in the marble of Bryant Denny Stadium, um, you know, as a national champion, that's, that's there forever, you know. My kids, grandkids, everyone can go see that. Um, so it was it was stuff like that that was important to me. 
and obviously the rings and stuff as well help. And man, let me tell you, man, my experience, man, I was at the national championship game and I couldn't get in because I bought some counterfeit tickets, but I watched <laughs> it uh, at a tailgate, but it was really fun. It was a whole lot of fun. And you, you, uh, you know, you just need to experience that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can tell you this, no matter when you play at Alabama, it's an experience and it's an experience you remember for the rest of your life. Like Jesse was talking about having your name etched in stone. I mean, that is a powerful thing when you leave that type of legacy. And I understand what he means. You know, like, Bo, man, he left a great legacy. Jesse left mm -hmm. a great legacy. You know, that's when you look back and you're able to see your name mentioned in those chronicles, it's a powerful thing because I still get chills to this point. Like, if you look up the history of Bryant Denny Stadium and you see I'm one of the few players that it actually talks about when you look up the history of Bryant, you know, to be mentioned with the Sean Alexanders, the Joe Namus and all these other uh, amazing players, man. It is like one of the most, it's, it. there's no words to describe the experience. You know, it's something that you and I and they will carry for the rest of our lives. So, you know, it's something that I hope that they don't take for granted because I don't either, because I understand how important that is and how much, you know, Planet Alabama has impacted the lives of so many people outside of the team. And you know what? Let me add to that too. Marvin said he was like mentioned with the names of those guys. Well, let me ask you this, little man. Do you know James and Leonard and, and Ryan? Do you know any of them? Th those are the guys I hung out with. They didn't play, but I just wanted to let you know I hung out with them. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm just trying to give a man some, some insight. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Logan, for me, for me, Logan, not like these guys I didn't play, but I actually do riding for the team. And what was cool about my championship experience was when Kenyon Drake scored against Clemson, he scored right in front of me. So to see that young man- You saw he it? Went, <laughs> he scored right in front of me. So to see that to see that guy score after all the injuries, after all that he'd been through, it was great to see Kenyon score. Yeah, that's what's up. Hey, Logan, you wanna see something? You wanna see something really cool? You wanna see something really cool, Logan? Sure. Uh -oh. Okay, let me show you something. You I'm gonna up. do an impersonation. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. Somebody do an impersonation. I'm the guy you just got through talking to. See? Sorry, we lost connection for a second. He missed it, whatever it was. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in there. <laughs> uh you're gonna sign a pair of Stacey Adams and send it to him, aren't you? I am. I am. I'm really I'm really digging this kid. I I really like him. <laughs> Logan, I got a question for you. What is your favorite thing about Alabama football? Uh, like, I mean, just really everything. Well, tell us about you're an Alabama fan. How how it is? What you guys do? So my dad's from Birmingham, and I I've just grown up as an Alabama fan ever since. Where'd your dad go to high school at? Uh, so I would have, I would have gone to Shades Valley, but I actually moved, uh, when I was at Gresham junior high. So, uh, we moved up to, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, my freshman year, basically. Okay. That's what's up. Well, hold that thought. We got somebody else in the waiting room. Stephen M. Smith, if you would, please give our next guest a great intro. All right. We got a linebacker <laughs> in the Nick Saban era. An SEC champion, a national champion. He's 3-3. Three, three. We talking 3-3 three, three in the middle. Trey the Priest is in here, baby. What's going on? What up, Trey? What up, what up, Trey? Hey, Trey. He was better than Martin. Trey. Yo. What, what did you do with all my stuff when you just finished cleaning out my locker? Did you put it in the places I told you to put all my stuff? I believe I did, brother. I believe I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, great to I have you in. Best. Great to have you in, Trey, man. Uh, if you would, uh, Logan's here. He's one of the biggest Alabama fans we know. And uh, he's living the dream, meeting all you guys. So, uh, yeah, man, if you would, just go ahead and talk to, talk to him. The, the floor is his. He's running the show right now. I'm just pushing buttons. Okay, okay. Well, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Good. Good to see you, man. I can't complain. I ain't doing too bad. 
He just proclaimed me as the greatest linebacker that ever played at Alabama. So I'm, I'm grateful to Logan right now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's the greatest right there. A uh, quick question for you all. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Who was it like playing in the NFL? I'll let you, uh, Jesse, you want to start us out? Yeah, man, it, it was crazy. It was definitely uh, a step up from Alabama in some ways, but I also feel like Alabama prepared me, you know, really well. I pretty much played with everyone that played in the NFL. Um, all the guys I played at Bama with went to the NFL pretty much. So, um, But I enjoyed it. I, I love the atmosphere. I mean, nothing compares to Bryant Denny Stadium or, you know, the Alabama fans. But, you know, I had a great time playing in the NFL. I got to meet a lot of guys. And being from Australia, I got to pretty much travel the world as well. Um, but I was lucky enough to go from two national championships and, and win a Super Bowl with Seattle the year after. So can't really complain. Right. <laughs> Who can complain about a Super Bowl? That's pretty nice, man. <laughs> it's Lombardi, it's man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Trey, uh, floor is yours, man. Hey, what was man, it like being with the – First of all, he was a Raven. Yep. Ravens flock, baby. <laughs> yeah, yep. Uh, I, I ain't spent too much time up there, but uh, the time I spent up there, man, it was uh, – like Jesse said, man, I was um, – I think up. I was well prepared. Um, it wasn't too much uh, anything surprising except for like um, – I don't know. I think the politics was surprising to me. Um, it's a little bit different, um, but other than that, I mean, I enjoyed myself, man. It was it was fun getting to just getting the experience for real. It was it was a good time. All right, Bo, it leaves you, my hey, friend. Man, Logan. Yeah, go ahead, Bo. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, it's a great, it's a great experience, man. Uh, especially uh, when you're growing up, you see it on TV. And you always wonder how, it is. And, and you know when you actually get there, you know it, it kind of eye opening. Can't believe that you know you at whatever team that you at, and you see all these great players that you know you watch on TV, and is and and you know everybody in there is you know great athletes, and like this is it. You see multiple um, players from Alabama. They take on <laughs> and wins and show you the rope. But, but, how it is in the and it's that one thing that that making and you know you be happy to be a part of it. Steve, you had a question before Bo started talking. What were you going oh, to Oh no, ask? I was gonna tell him, man, that uh Logan, listen, I you know, those guys went to the NFL and I I I, I did my thing. I went to the uh the, the Y Y C P uh it's, it means that you can't play. <laughs> But look, I still <laughs> watch the NFL. And Logan, I want you to know, man, listen, even though these guys went to the NFL and I couldn't go, I just want you to know, man, you are our hero. We're proud yes, of sir. you. You got more strength than sir. all of us. You keep doing your thing, especially Marvin, you. especially Marvin. So you keep doing your thing, man. <laughs> we are proud of you, brother. And, and you know what? You know what? Those guys, all these guys, what they're going to do for you they are going to go in their pockets and get some season tickets to Alabama game for you. Because I ain't got no job right now. But look what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pitch in, I promise you. You still at Mama's house, Steve? You still at Mama's house? Yeah, there. This, is the room I, this is the room I grew up in. Logan, yeah, this is the room I grew up in. <laughs> You can see if I, if I go to the right, you'll see my, my Spider Man poster. But it's, we're not talking about that right now. All right, Steve, I'm going to pull your card. You got 250. I do 250. Can you get these other fellas to do 250? And we come up with the pot. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that, man. Let's get this guy some Alabama tickets, man. But Logan, this is what you got to do. If you if, when we get you those tickets, can you help like sneak me in so I can sit beside you? Oh God. Yeah, we got two <laughs> tickets. So. Y'all already yeah. got season tickets. Yeah, we got season tickets. Well, look, oh, I tell you what, Logan. Let me know, but Logan, you got season Logan tickets. Well, look, if you, Logan, you, you, feel, if you know what? Hold on, Logan said he got. <laughs> Logan said he got season tickets. So, Logan, if you will, can you do me a favor and, and give me your tickets to the Texas game? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, the road game. Yeah, you know you can play. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. You can. You play. You, I, I go on the road. I go on the road. Me, you know. Yeah, that's if you want to, Logan. You know. Oh, well, that's what's up. Well, Logan, man, we really appreciate you joining us tonight, man. It was an absolute honor to spend time yes. with you. 
And like he's like uh, our guy said, you are our hero, and we're praying for you. And we'll know you'll be uh, up and ready to go soon. Uh, definitely in time for football season, man. So yeah, again, you the man, and we appreciate you being with us. Oh, one other thing, one other thing, Logan. I want to do this too, Logan. I want to do this too. Listen, this is an authentic Bama hat. I want to send it to you. I stole it from the locker room. Now, I don't know who it was, <laughs> but I stole it from the locker room, and I'm gonna try to get it to you. Okay? Yeah, roll tide. Yeah. That's it right there. <laughs> but yeah, man, we man. we're glad to have you here, man. And uh, keep us updated on how you're doing, and we'll have you back on pretty soon. For sure. Thank you. Uh, all right, you're welcome. Hey, Roll you. tide. We love you, man. We love Roll you. Tide. We love you. Roll, Roll tide. Roll Logan. Roll Logan. Hey, everybody hashtag that. Roll Logan. Roll yep, the hashtag Roll going. Logan. Roll Logan. Get that hashtag going. Roll Logan. See ya. Oh, Logan right. talking to you. See ya. Texas City. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Steve said he's tired of selling water at the, at the game that he stole from the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that, hey man, let me tell you something, man. Real talk, that was really, really cool, man. That was cool. Absolutely, was man. Really cool, Absolute man. blessing to do it. Uh, so glad we had that this. This is why you should watch the Bama Standard. This is why you should subscribe to our channel right now. Yes, subscribe. Let people know that we are doing big things, and we we have people like Logan on. That's really, really special. We got man. We got. I'm so excited about this show. We got Jesse. We got. We got Bo. Man, you we, are got, the, we got man. Come on, man. You who, are the who, who's doing it better? Who's doing it bigger? Come on, man. Then we got <laughs> Marvin sitting there. We got Marvin sitting there with man boobs. Come on, man. Who's <laughs> got his prostate leg boobs. propped up. <laughs> you on the own one set of the month. <laughs> <laughs> that's because all that's his PO only let him out for that one time a week. <laughs> Well, before hey, we Bo, get see, man, you, see, Bo, so you so you have a good game and you turn on your boy. So, man, come on, man. This is pent up frustration, man. It's all coming out now. <laughs> but before okay, we get so to the great what? debate, let's get, let's get into it. Yes, before we get yeah. to the great debate, before we get to the great debate about who in this room was the hardest hitter between Jesse, Marvin, and Trey, we got some business to, to talk about concerning our coach and Jimbo Fisher. Man, a lot of noise going on this past week, a lot of WWE type noise and, and, uh, and junk. So let's go ahead and jump on it. I mean, hey, Steve man, Brown, you know, I want you to start it off. Hey, first off, let me say this, man. Jimbo, Jimbo showed who he was. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can't agree more. And one of the big misconceptions here is that people think that. Nick's not a fan of the NIL. Well, actually, that's the exact opposite. He's a strong advocate for it. He, he's forward in his thinking. At what, what's going on right now, there is an uneven uh, playing field in college football due to the NCAA's lack of foresight. You know, the Supreme Court has been breathing down their neck, and they knew something was coming, but they didn't know when. So they just rolled it out there without any kind of uh, rules or regulations, and here we are. And one of the things I want y'all to consider in what's on Saban's mind is due to the strict legislation, Texas is able to do exponentially more than states like Alabama or Florida. So Nick had a, a, had a meeting basically with, with the um, alumni on the booster saying, hey, if we're going to keep up with these guys, we got to start up. bringing in the money. We got to start. We got, you got to pony up. Well, well, here's the thing about it. It's never been regulated. Like I said, even back when I played, it wasn't you know, S S H. It was, the, the, you know, <laughs> but it was still money being handed out, you know, and you were paid accordingly. Well, not paid, but you found money accordingly based upon your your talent levels and your skill set. You know, hey, if your if your skills were better, you happen to find a little bit more money from time to time. But you know, so there's not much difference between and nil. It's just you know, it's a year later. <laughs> Uh, Trey, what's your immediate reaction hearing some of this, or have you really been keeping up with uh, the media nonsense? Man, I was just about to tell you, I ain't even been tapped in with it. I ain't heard. I I be working so much, I, and with the kids, I don't be knowing what's going on. I just hear it from you. Ain't what? heard, man, Jimbo, man, Jimbo, man, Jimbo Fisher, and Nick Saban got into a fist fight. You ain't heard? No, I'm pulling. <laughs> where, where I gotta be? Yeah. 
What you say, Steve? Hey, 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 what you say, hey. Steve? You say, hey, you say, if Jesse if that had in there, I when Jesse was in school, he'd have had to deal with Piggly Wiggly. What? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 Trey. Hey, Yo. Trey, man. Jimbo, Jimbo went at Nick one time, Trey. He went at Nick now. I mean, he went at that, it. That ain't never worked out for nobody involved. <laughs> you come, you come, oh, man, it, yeah, it, but yeah. but when you when you look at the, the what wireless plan are you on, Marvin? Yeah, my, <laughs> oh, there you go. I, I'm telling you, man. Hey, 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 it's that, hey, it's hey, that hey, Boost hey, Mobile. Boost hey, Mobile. T-Mobile cut him off, man. T-Mobile cut him off fast. Obama. But yeah, let me catch you up real quick, Trey. <laughs> Basically what happened was Coach Saban had a press conference where he was essentially addressing the boosters. And what he basically was doing was, you know, creating a monster for the for the boosters to fear, a metaphorical monster, that is. And he attached the name of Texas A&M to give it something, uh, somewhat of a personality so they could actually see, okay, this is what's going on. And like we said earlier, you're going to have to pony up if we're going to, we're going to stay uh, up with these guys. And Jimbo took it as a threat. If you actually listen to the press conference, there wasn't anything threatening about what Coach Saban said. He didn't accuse anybody nope. of anything. And uh, Jimbo also was saying that Saban was attacking 17-year-olds and families he was not doing either one and of those things. And he's a narcissist. And he's despicable. And despicable. <laughs> I, I, hadn't, I hadn't looked that one up yet. You know, I got to look you know, yeah. He's going to he gonna have to eat his words and stand on everything. So we shall see. But you know something, man? You know something, though? Usually, uh, you know, it's always said a hit dog hollers. Man, Saban... He was cool, calm, and co collective in answering all the questions in state and laying it all out. Jimbo was literally shaking, hollering, screaming, and all. Oh, and I mean, and he was really throwing personal attacks on Coach Saban. To me, right. that is just straight guilt and deflection. That out is the straight guilt and deflection. Because every time my girl catch me, you know, doing something, I throw it back on her. So I know the game. <laughs> and what's it one of the top? It was in his feelings. I mean, I mean, but Steve, and it was what's crazy was, could you tell in Jimbo's voice, his voice pitch came up five octaves every second and fourth sentence? He sounded like me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a thug too, Steve? No, no he ain't no thug. No, no, he ain't no thug. He's guilty. He's guilty. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and that brings up the, one of the other points to Coach Saban that was making was that you have a program that – what within five years of him being there, average or well, had a total of five five stars, and then overnight he's got seven five stars in the number one recruiting class in the country. And this is this isn't a program that's on the rise. This is a, a program whose team is the cover, uh, the poster child for the Gator Bowl year after year. They average right. eight or nine game, eight or nine wins a season. So he's kind of bringing attention to that. You know, something ain't right here. Well, I'll tell you what, to me, I'm, I, I really feel like what that personal attack on Coach Saban, I think it gave his players so much bulletin board material. I really believe that. Yeah, I, it, it gave the whole Alabama fan base bulletin board material. And I think that, that it's going to be really ugly on and off the field when Texas A&M visits Tuscaloosa. I believe that. October the 8th. <laughs> uh -oh. Hold on, October the 8th. I'm, hold on, I think I got a report back. I think, wait a minute. <laughs> no, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Marvin, you look like you got something you want to say. What you want to say, man? Let him... <laughs> hey, man, listen. Bottom line is, it has become pay for play. So either you're going to pay or you ain't going to play. I mean, okay. and you want to know the truth about it? These kids that are signing with these schools now, they don't care about Alabama football tradition. They don't care but about the history of that. They care about how much money you finna put in their bank account that's going to sustain them so they can go do whatever it is they want to do and live their lives in college. I mean, if I if I had to go back and you tell me I can go play at this school and I ain't getting no money out the gate, but over here they tell me, hey, we got this $50,000 a year NIL deal waiting on you. 
I'm gonna slide on over there so quick to sign that paperwork, man. Please. But 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 Marvin, but Marvin, first of all, you gotta earn that deal though. You gotta well, earn that. You gotta, well, you gotta Texas buy, not, not, buy, your, buy your But here's the thing, by your potential, but you buy your potential. Go ahead. But the problem mm -hmm. is Texas and them, they just giving it to them. There's no earning. They paying right. all of their linemen fifty thousand per year, no if ands of that's their that was their recruiting pitch. Hey, that's why that's why they are guilty. They're guilty. Already. Well, in theory, they're not guilty because it's allowable. And that's the thing, is yeah. They're not guilty. No, of anything, no, 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 but... no, no, no. What's no, no, what's what's allowable, what's allowable is the NIL, you getting uh agent and you getting represented represent representation uh -huh. and and these come and these companies are taking care of you. What's not allowable is these boosters putting money in to pay these players. That's not allowable. That's that's fraud right there. But it's allowable the way the rule is written, as long as it's not the athletic department or a member of the athletic part department facilitating these these deals or these money transfers. It is allowable under the way it's written. So if your fan base, your booster club. Can put billions of dollars in a pot and pay people, then have at it. That's the way the rule is written, and that's what uh, I, so, so, so 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 you so you don't think Jimbo Fish is doing something fishy? I'm pretty sure he knows what's going on, and you know it's called plausible deniability. As long as his hands are not in it, they can't say he had anything to do with it. But everybody's got somebody that's willing to stand there and take the heat to get the job done. The question is, who is that right, person for Alabama, what? and where is he at? Well, you know what? The thing, but the thing is, you sound like you standing ten toes down on what you're saying, and I feel you because you a man. But why don't you man up and go and say right now, man up and say right now that you is a harder hit linebacker than Trey. Say it now. He right there. Say it. <laughs> Listen, hey, man. great segue. Let's go ahead and jump into that. We yeah, got these three it. gentlemen right here. I want you to make your cases, man. Who well, is the well, hardest hitting dude in this room? When I was a junior in high school, that was the first time I was on the cover of a magazine, and it said the South's most physical player. So but that was, but, but, but hold on, on, hold on. That was that was Jet magazine. That don't count. That was <laughs> about it i kid you not man i'll be in practice dudes acting like they gotta go get the equipment fixed they gotta go get their ankles retaped they would do everything in their power not to have to go against me when we was in that line they be you can see them over there counting it out and they oh i gotta go no you ain't got to do now but take this l real quick <laughs> them boys used to run from this heat boy they didn't they didn't want no parts in it. <laughs> trey is this true trey is this true man i don't know nothing about it <laughs> <laughs> he says he's too young to remember that. <laughs> See, and that further I'm proves so my just, point. Hold on, that I further said, proves my point. I ain't heard them stories. I ain't heard them stories. Well, you can Ooh. check my resume. You can check. <laughs> the thing about it, though, Trey, I played you can check for all my these resume. Your resume, play. your resume. I ain't played right. when football was still football before it became two hand touch, glorified two hand touch. So did I. So did I. I. They, they ain't start having to you can get nasty. All right, let him have the floor, Marvin. <laughs> Start having until they start passing out this money. I played real football too. Now, now hold on. Did so you what have you saying? Hold on, wait, wait. Time out, Marvin. Time out, Marvin. 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 Time out. Let me say this. So, so Trey, I hear what you're saying. So, in other words, you said you played real football too, but you didn't mention Jesse. Like Jesse ain't played football. Jesse, you just gonna let that ride? Uh, he just sitting back there, <laughs> just just quiet. Jesse, Jesse, I'm waiting. Jesse yeah. thinking about a few of the ribs. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse back that thing, man. Baby back, St. Louis. <laughs> Let that man talk, Marvin. You done told your lies. Let that man talk. Hey, me, me and Trey was right there. Yeah. Hey, the difference is I didn't have enough run-up. I had to deal with them double teams because all we run is power. And exactly. then the linebackers had all the run-up. Exactly. That, right. That's an excellent point, Jesse. Hey, who is this that just said hardest hitting Marvin and Ruben hands down? Hey, see that man know he know what. M Marvin, you oh, pay no, these guys. Marvin, 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 Exactly. This is what I heard. This is what I heard. This is what I heard. I heard 
Jesse say in a real, real respectable way that Trey was sorry as hell. That's all. <laughs> I don't believe it. Though. I don't believe it. I played with him on the PlayStation. He had a 89 rating, so I know he. I know he was all right. All right, people in the chat, I need I need y'all to get involved here. Marvin right now is getting the votes from the from you guys. I need some votes for the other guys, man. Come hold on. on. Hold Make on a case. Hold on. Plow jogger said John met you the hardest hitter. Well. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Somebody, somebody, somebody said uh, hardest hitting Marvin, Marvin and Ruben, hands down. No disrespect. I don't believe it, though. I don't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. That, that's you. You know, we. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. A bunch of love for Marvin. Marvin was the truth from Brock. Hey, he must have, he must have these bots out here. That's what I'm thinking, man. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted the text messages as we speak it right now. He's no, that's what it is. He, 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 he went to no, he went to his MySpace on, group on. chat and just started yeah. typing. Hold on. I can't yeah, see his other hand. He must be talking. All right. so, <laughs> so here's the thing about it. One week <laughs> we're playing Deuce McAllister. Another week we're playing Jamal Lewis, Travis Henry. Another week we playing uh, uh, um, uh, old boy from LSU, Falcon, all them. We playing James Johnson from LSU. Uh, from I went, I went against every everybody you just named. I went against better players than them in practice, babe boy. Woo! Woo! Every single one Woo! you named, I went against better in practice. And now, you know what? You know I what? You know what? Saying. But I tell you, you know what? You know what, though? You didn't go against Bo Scarborough, though. I tell you that. I tell yes, you I Bo said that he made, he made yes, like word out of all y'all. I, I went mean, against, hey, against I'm Bo. I'm not saying that. But okay, what happened? What happened? What happened when you went against Bo? What happened? Ask Bo. Oh, oh, oh. oh Bo. <laughs> oh, oh, and the spotlight is on you. Uh, <laughs> you say you knocked, you knocked his dreads oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Trey said, hey, Trey said he knocked both dreads out. He had one dread left like a clip on tie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, Plow Jogger's got a got a solution. Here's how to settle this. Hey. Which one of these linebackers had a guy Steve. on the other team beg him not to hit him again? Steve, you standing on the sideline and and, 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 and got hit on the sideline, and now all your hair fell out. And you, oh, I've got one play. I've got one play. <laughs> <laughs> Rub the ground. <laughs> Hey, 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 Stephen M was on the sideline and got hit by everybody, and he gonna get up and say, I ain't see it coming. Look, <laughs> I, 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 actually, I actually subbed myself and it took both of Marvin's knees out. Hey. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Hey, sir, just because your glasses say objects are closer than they appear, you, hey, don't take that for granted now. Hey, all right? All right. <laughs> Hey, I, uh, see you, I see you there with Red's chain from Friday. That deep old paper. Wait a minute. Is that, Listen, that boy done got oh. engaged and he getting this some action on the regular. He's been in real tough these days. Boy, hey, hold on, Steven. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the Bama Standard where Stephen M. Smith backslides occasionally. <laughs> Tony the Brown whole TDA said, world is upside down. To get there, but when he did, he brought the pain. What you say, Tony Brown said you were stuck in first gear. <laughs> I know what he t- he talking about senior year. Boy, it was slow. <laughs> and- <laughs> hey man, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Now I I would say if, if if it was me, if I had to rank both of y'all, it would be. I mean, as far as head to head, it would be really, really hard. Both of y'all would lay in the pain. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I, 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 I mean, and, and honestly, to me, Ruben and Mac, they have some of the most memorable hits, but they weren't the hardest hits. That's and true. I see y'all in some pain. So the, absolutely, some of the hits y'all were making some of the hits y'all were making in the middle. It probably wouldn't. It wasn't viewed in on, but y'all was y'all was laying some wood, bro. So hey, speaking of that, Steve, I got to piggyback off of that. Uh, Trey, your early days, one of the things that Coach Saban always preaches is create value for yourself. 
And you did that on special teams, man. You were the head hunter. I mean, these dudes were pissing down their leg as yeah. soon as that ball was in the air, and you were just laying that wood on those guys, man. How old are you, 29? How old are you, 29, 30? How old are you? Yeah, I was like 18 then. Well, I thought you about 30. About 30. Hey, Steve. I want to hear more about this meeting between him and Bo because we still ain't got the details about what happened. Because he said, "Hey man, you know what? 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 I'm on. Trey, no me and him never went against each other. But I'm saying you ran the ball against the defense. I ain't saying me and you met, but you ran the ball against the defense that I was on, right or wrong. True. So what happened? So what happened? He's deflecting, Steve. He's deflecting. No, no, no. You know what? You know what? I feel like Bo must have won. I'm gonna tell you why. Because every time I watch watch Bo run the ball and he run over a couple of people, Steve and them, what does he do? He get up doing what? Smiling. Smiling. And as soon as he said we met, Bo started smiling. So uh, (laughs) (laughs) you you just heard Bo. They never met, man. We ain't never met. Well, how y'all hold on, hold on, hold on. How long? y'all you never met? Me? Hold on, you Steve. Are... How y'all in practice, practice? Yeah. Listen, man, Dubo was out straight off with Sean. And you know, he's telling you better get his ass out of here because as long as he's in here, I'm teeing off on him. Listen, man, how y'all running back and linebacker and y'all don't meet in practice? That is theoretically impossible. <laughs> I got there, I got there late and it was bold practice. Yeah, I was just yeah. about to say practice so he wasn't really he, he was getting reps but not you know he wasn't getting one reps hold on hold on so bo you said you got that late where the hell were you coming from work what would you mean you <laughs> his phone went out he missed the phone call steve <laughs> he like, he like, coach dubos I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change his carburetor and i'm gonna be on that. <laughs> hey quick question from the audience for all you guys from aaron bowen what's the worst thing coach chewed your ass out about more than once Jesse, you've been quiet, so I'll start out with you. Who? I mean, coach was usually pretty good. I think when I first got there, coming from junior college and going into like straight into the SEC and then just having power and power in junior college, all I used to do was pretty much like swim and get over guys, right? Like I was, I've been playing football for like one, two years. So I was just, I was like JJ Watt or like Mike Bennett. I'm freelancing, like I ain't playing no box. So then you go to the SEC, and I got Chance Womack, DJ Fluker, double team. And like oh. first day of practice, I'm like, shit, I ain't dealing with that. I'm just going <laughs> to swim straight over. I'm straight through. And, like, I swim straight over, and all I hear is saving, screaming. And because, like, they just want us to play double teams, you know? This is before I knew that they recruited me not to make no tackles. They only recruited me to get tackled by offensive linemen so the linebackers can make plays. Um, but that was probably the best one. Uh, that was, like – I enrolled early, so it would have been like spring 2012, 2011. And I just remember him being so close and yelling at me about playing blocks. And he said hands about a thousand times to me. And I could just feel him like spitting on my face, talking about playing with my hands. Um, it had me rethinking if I was going to keep playing in Alabama, but it worked out. <laughs> you know what, man? That that We got something in common because my girl always get on me about, about playing on my hands. She catch me several times a week. But the thing <laughs> is... Hey, as long as she ain't spinning your face, it's all good. <laughs> hey, speaking of using your hands, uh, I don't know if you guys remember this. Uh, Jesse uh, went viral for bench pressing 600 pounds on the internet, oh, yeah. man. That thing blew I was, up. I was standing right there. <laughs> now watch yeah, Marvin go try to do it. Watch, Look at Marvin. Watch Mar- cause Marvin is such a competitor. Watch I'll, him try to do it. I'm, waiting for I'm not killing myself, 601 sir. pounds back then. <laughs> you must have watched the show before. <laughs> what was that, Justin? I said your hair oh, looks nice. You say that you benched six hundred one. <laughs> Jesse, don't do that. Don't do that, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a, hey, hey, man, if it mean anything, I'm gonna go ahead and go go ahead and bench this cool sixty real quick. You know, <laughs> but uh, Trey, well, uh, your turn to answer that question, man. Was something that, that Coach Saban cussed you out about once uh, or more than once? Uh, Eating chicken wings first, on the field. Might have been pulled him out the pulled him out the pad. <laughs> Archie <Archibald>. Ball. <laughs> uh, man, we was in a we was in a special teams meeting, man, and uh, it was something it was something little on punt, and uh, 
B Dub, Bobby Williams, he just got done telling me what I was doing. And uh this is when I got there <laughs> early. So I played the whole spring, you know, saying spring ball, and this was in camp. And he um coach coach Bobby just he he get he get done correcting me. And it was something small. I think it was like a kickback or something. And as soon as B dub got done, here come Coach Saban. God damn it, 33. You ain't done shit right since you got here. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like That's pretty good. <laughs> I ain't did nothing right, and well, I ain't say to him. I ain't say a word to him, but uh, yeah, he just told me I ain't did nothing right in six months. He told me uh, what else? Is that? Just just threw me out, and that was that was probably my worst. I'm looking everywhere like somebody saved me, but ain't nobody come to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, that hey, that impersonation was on point. That was on point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Jesse, I, I do have to bring up something, man. You are a real one. 2012 SEC championship game. We thought we lost you to a knee injury. We weren't sure if you were going to come back. It, it's like you said to yourself, "Screw this, I'm a play." And you got back in there. I don't know if you slapped on a knee brace or what. But listen, it was late in the fourth quarter. You, your play, you met um, – uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Todd Gurley? Todd Gurley, yes, Todd Gurley. In the backfield, yeah, shut, so him, da- shut him down on third field. third down. We got the ball back and went ahead for the score. But, man, talk about that. Did he blow up John? Oh, man, Did I you remember blow up that. John yeah, it was one of them because I was playing fullback as well that game. And because we were running so much, uh, they called it like elephant formation. I was playing both sides almost towards the end of the fourth quarter, but I remember hurting my knee. Like uh, one of the outside guys threw a guy right into my knee, and I was like, "Damn, I'm I'm done." And then uh, the real goat, Jeff Allen, you know, took me for that walk into the locker room real quick, and uh, you know, did, did all that magic stuff that Jeff usually does with the rest of the, the surgeons in the in the locker room, and. Um, you know, I didn't know if it was going to be my last game or not, so I was like, "Oh, we got to go," and then um, ended up coming back, and then had some pretty crucial blocks with Eddie um, playing fullback, and I just remember, you know, pretty much running downhill at anybody, um, and yeah, Bobby Williams pretty much lying to me every week, telling me they were going to give me the ball, and um, but really was <laughs> lead blocking every game, nonstop, and then um, and then yeah, that fourth down tackle against Todd, who yeah. I feel two inches shorter from tackling that dude. Um, but, yeah, that was crazy. That Honestly, out of all the stuff I did at Alabama, I think that's the most recognizable. A lot of people bring that up to me, um, like when I'm in the States. Every, every time people tell me, they always bring up that Georgia game. So, must have been doing something right. And, obviously, it was a huge game, like crazy win. And to get down how tight it was, like it was, it was pretty crazy um, to be a part of and be there as well. But I definitely remember it quite quick, like clearly. Um, it's definitely a highlight of my career playing football anyway. And, pe- and, and people don't hit – it just don't hit Todd Gurley like that. So, that was mm-hmm. memorable. That was, like, that was huge. Yeah, for, I mean, for, I was going to hit him. I was going to hit him. For, <laughs> <laughs> you might have been a foot shorter if he hit him. <laughs> Jesse, he ain't that tall as he is. He already five hundred. That's, that's what I mean. Short, huh? Hey, I actually found this video right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Trey Mark. Wait. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh, there we go. We see it. I can see more head than big head right there. Big mo. <laughs> Kendall Moorhead's head is taking up the screen, man. <laughs> Hands behind the line. Funny fun fact: Kendall was my roommate when we played at Alabama. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what's up, man. I still get yeah. That, that still gives me chills. <laughs> There goes Scott Cochran. <laughs> Scott Cochran. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, I got to give hey. you a little bit of shine too, Trey, man. Uh, I think that Dak Prescott still has nightmares about what you did to him in that 2014 game against Mississippi State when State was supposedly the number one team in the country. Man, talk about how you gave him that work in that game. Uh, man, he was really out there doing a little bit of yapping, man, and I don't, I don't really – I don't take kindly to that because I don't do too much talk. I just play the game. He was doing a little bit of yapping, and I just I took it kind of personal and made it a point to go ahead and give him what he was looking for. And uh, 
Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, you did. You hey, did. You tell, did. Them you, tell them how you tell them how you used the move I taught you too. <laughs> man, look. Oh, <laughs> tell them that one. They the knee pull. All right, Justin. That's your last one. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Before, <laughs> before we well, I was taught him how to pull a hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> but before we start to wind things down, uh, one of the last games I had to bring up because it involved both of you guys was that 2011 national championship game where you guys put on one of the best defensive clinics and probably in college football history. I can't remember last time somebody – prevented the other team from moving past the 50. What went into that whole thing, man? I think Jordan Jefferson is still on the ground for what you guys did to him. But, yeah, if you can kind of talk <laughs> about that. <laughs> hey, man, I think – Dante uh, Hightower went crazy, too. I, I was just, yeah, I, I think that whole team – I don't to speak on that. <laughs> dude, everyone was balling. I think for me personally, it was like – I was like mentally, I was wrecked and broken from that SEC championship loss. We lost to LSU at the start. I played like 94, 98 plays that game. And it was like hard. It was hard. And we lost, you know, so it was, we took it so close. I know for the D line, like it was like, that's just not happening again. And then when we found out we were going to play him again, I was obviously pretty pumped about that. And then I think we just, one thing I remember from being Alabama, even compared to the NFL, other schools that I've been at, since like the, the preparation with Kirby and Coach Saban was like next level. Like Trey would attest it as well. Like I was out there and because I was playing nose and end, I'm, I'm just looking at formations. I'm telling you exactly what's going to happen right now. Not because I'm the fucking smartest defensive player in the world, because our preparation, like I could hear Kirby and Saban talking. I'm like, shit, I know where, where are we going? You know what I mean? And, and then you get dudes like Dante, Courtney, like CJ, all these dudes, like I'm literally, I'm playing three technique. I'm holding the double team for one second, two seconds, and I'm here in a tackle. You know what I mean? So it's like we were, it was like a race out there to try and get get some stats to get anything on the stat board. Um, it was just an unbelievable team, but I just think it was like a real mix of like really good team and like next level coaching, like the training staff. Everyone had us like we were ready to go. We probably could have played in the whole extra game. You know, right. like. I agree. Good job. Um, yeah. yeah. Hey, um, you know what? You sh- oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead, Trey. Uh, well, for me, man, that was my ahead, um, that was my freshman year. So uh, I was pretty much playing special teams and stuff. And um, I just remember before the game, um, I know uh, Mark B- Mark Barron. He ain't he really he ain't talk. He don't do none of that. He just show up and 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 bust your tail for real. He gonna hit you in the doubt. To me, that was. He got to be in that hardest hitting conversation for real, to me. Mm-hmm. Mark Bain, because he 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 used to bring it. He he might as well be. Well, you see, they moved me to linebacker in the NFL, so because he always yep. wanted to be in the box. Mm-hmm. And um, I I just remember before the game, man, him just being so like amped up that I've never I ain't never even he I probably heard through the season heard him speak twenty words, and then here he is just going crazy and I, i'm just like that just sent chills hey me. that shit's scary if mark talking yeah <laughs> hey, you know hey but Je- jesse jesse you you showed us a video man and i was impressed but let me show y'all this too man you see y'all, it's from y'all, his only fans that? account oh, no y'all see that i don't know hold on let me see let me let me bring it back up real quick because y'all need to see this y'all y'all see that they some these some see-through states of adams my dad got me and i just want to <laughs> <laughs> now available in our gift shop. Yeah, I just want to try this. Man, you got on yeah. some adult jellies, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know we were talking about football, but I, I just when you were showing your stuff off, I just wanted to show mine off too. That's all. Yeah. Before uh, we move like into done. <laughs> Before we move into our closing segment, we got one last question from the audience from Aaron Bowen. When in the season did you guys know the title was yours to take? Y'all played it. For, y'all won two of them. So when was that? Man, they to me they wouldn't let us. It, that wasn't happening. We it was always nose down on the grind. It, you didn't know. Like we played every game the same. They wasn't letting that happen. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I would say the same. Thing. I barely knew what game was coming up the week after. Like I, I they wouldn't even yeah. barely tell us the schedule. We go week to week. You know. Like, wow. It's, it's like, it's so locked in to that one week. You know, we got pictures of the other team everywhere. Like. 
though. Like it was kind of like a, <laughs> this is it. Whoever, whoever you playing, that's it. I, don't, I and like Jesse yeah. said, I tell you sometimes who we was playing next because it was that yeah. much of a focus on that opponent. So, yeah, right. Well, wow, that's just like so. the atmosphere they create. It's so much easier to, at least for us, to prepare as well because he's so locked in. Like because you get lost, especially as kids. It's like you start thinking about LSU and we got to play Vanderbilt, like. <laughs> We were the exact opposite. I was so worried about just fan about. It. I forgot my fucking history final was on. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just like you so and locked you in all the time. That weren't like you know, I don't know, like competitors, but they knew they knew how to amp them up to where oh you better be worried about such and such and this and that and blah 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 blah. Oh blah. yeah, you so oh, worried. Like about every team seemed like it was. You better live for killers. the pain. Live for it. <laughs> 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 Trey, can we get one last Saban impersonation, man? What what you did earlier was 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 point on. <laughs> uh, hey, I don't want too much. I'm gonna have flashbacks, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you got PTSD, Jesse, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I did the Scott Cocker one. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what to say. I'm I'm trying to think of a situation, but I don't even ain't nothing coming to me. Okay, you okay, need, I guess Jones got on here, man. You said, you no Jones. kidding. You said you said, you said he got you said he got PTS. <laughs> that's all right. My, my, that's, it's okay. My stomach be cramping too. But look, <laughs> you can get medicine for that now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as we're in the closing segment, Bo, I want you to be the deciding factor out of these three men right here. Who was the hardest hitter based on their arguments? Oh, uh, definitely me, bro. Don't be silly now. Uh, <laughs> them three guys played three well in two p um two positions. So I don't know, man. You put why, Justin? Why you put me in this situation? Because, <laughs> because Bo, with being an MVP comes great responsibility. Right, right. MVP, <laughs> MVP. <laughs> it doesn't come with the responsibility because I never played against Mar. Second, me and Trey never went against each other. And, you know, just I definitely didn't play, you know, against him. So I can't tell you who the hard hitting guy was. Steve Brown, you're not politically correct. G- give us the answer. <laughs> hey, man, to me, honestly, uh, both got a great point, man. They were all different, different, yeah. um, but they were different <laughs> positions. But all I know is this. The positions they played, they played the hell out of them, and that's I can true. go with either one of them. That's that's what. Right. I, and it's and, and I'm gonna go and throw some in at, at Bo too. Bo, I just want you to know, brother, you're not gonna be in the in a, uh, USFL very long. You about to get called up. Just just yes, be sir. ready. Be yes, ready. sir. I agree. Be Keep ready, bro. Be ready. And since they talking about hard hitting, but you you hold that rock too. Dude, still yes, do. he does. <laughs> hey, make him remember. Son. Still rolling. Yeah. <laughs> right. And and, and, and and speaking of speaking of sight, speaking of sight, uh 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 Steven M, you got Steven Wonder by a little bit. So just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but Steve Wonder does I, not I, have that plaid. Hey, 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 you know what? I'll try to play the piano now. That is, that is, that is. <laughs> Stick to the kazoo. All right, Marvin, real quick, man, before we start giving out social media and all that stuff, tell us what's kazoo. going on with 40 plus That's strong. All we got, Steve. Talk about your 40 plus strong, sir, and how they can get their hands on it. What's all about for those who are living under a rock? Hey, man, you know, you're looking for something that's going to change your life, get you back up to speed, get you back up to shape. You know, just because you're in your 40s don't mean you have to have a dad bob. Your dad bob. You know, you can visit us on Amazon, 40, uh, physical and mental fitness at 40 plus. You know, you can hey, you can bring the thunder back to your life. You ain't got to walk around with that dad bob and that pot belly just because you're in your mid-40s. That's a myth. I prove you wrong every day of the week. Oh, yeah, and also, I, I want to be a witness to that, too, man. It works. It also adds uh, love handles and man boobs, so make sure you get it. It is off the chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you open up Chapter 3, uh, Jodeci starts playing for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, that is your last hey, strike. Bonus, bonus pack. The, <laughs> hey, hey, the bonus pack come with baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> all right it's time to to, to to pump up what y'all got next uh steve brown if you will give your social media also tell the people in the audience uh when's your next show and how they can get tickets okay uh my next show is this weekend in las vegas i beat out all week, a weekend long man at mgm doing what i do and uh, you can follow me on twitter and instagram comic steve brown one word comic Steve Brown. And for you older listeners, follow me on MySpace. You can be my top eight right now. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin Constant, how can they follow you on social media? Constant45, that's my IG. Uh, Constant451 is my Twitter. That's all I really have. So I ain't hard to find. I'm here. I'm out here. <laughs> Marvin, I stopped, Marvin, I stopped following you. <laughs> <laughs> is your back page account still active? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stephen and Smith, how can the folks find you on social media if they're not watching in my own words? Stephen M. Smith on Facebook, coaching M. Smith on Twitter. And that leaves you, MVP. How can the folks find you if they're not catching what you're doing live on Fox or NBC? Go to Green County, you're following. <laughs> Five Starbo on Instagram and Starbo06 on Twitter. <laughs> also, if you live in the Atlanta area, hit up our boy Cyrus Jones, Atlanta Luxury Real Estate. If you want a house, numbers on there. But if you don't make a payment, he will pick that sun gun off and he'll take it away from you. So keep that in mind. Your single wire from you, Justin, when you missed that payment. <laughs> That's a dark time, Marvin. Don't bring that up. I told you that. <laughs> If you got any fencing needs, our boy DJ Petway, Precision Fencing, hey. numbers on the screen. How at your boy? He can do some amazing work. He just finished doing oh, my hey. house. Hey, man, forget Good. DJ, man. He took my he took my fence back. I don't want to know. He took my <laughs> fence back. I mean, he ain't make the payment, but he ain't had to come take it. <laughs> and if you want to help fight against ALS, go to the Good Foundation. Kerry Good has one of the top um, – Charities in the business right now as he tries to fight that himself. Go to www.goodfoundation.org to find out how you can help today. Jesse, Trey, man, we, we greatly appreciate y'all hanging out with us and putting up with our nonsense, but also, most importantly, making that young man's day earlier. Uh, if you would, tell us what's up next for you guys. Trey, I know you got a business, man, so I want you to pump that up a little bit too. So, Trey, I'll start with you. I'm, uh, I call myself the yard surgeon, man. I'll be doing open heart surgery in your yard. I have a fire um, and most jobs, clean outs, all that. That's what I do. So, yeah. What's your location? I'm, I'm, I'm at home, man. I'm in Ohio. Oh, hell, man. I thought you was around here. I was going to give you some work, but you in damn Ohio. You, man, you don't work on cabins. <laughs> <laughs> You're still I'm living out the back of your pacer, man. You gonna... <laughs> Marvin, did you say pacer? <laughs> he said pacer. <laughs> gonna leave me alone. <laughs> he said pacer. Hey, man, you know how I hadn't heard that in so long, pacer? <laughs> how can the folks find you on social media, Trey? Man, I'm just, I ain't even on social media like that. I just got back on Facebook, but this is my name, Trader Priest on Facebook. I don't do nothing else for it. I'll be with the kids, dog. That's what's up. Jesse, that leaves you, man. Tell people how, how they can find you and uh, promote your business, man. You're killing it doing what you do. Oh, man, we do heaps of stuff, but I'm out in Australia, so it might be tough for y'all to come out and hit me We're up. We're international, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, now the border's open in Australia. You might be able to get in. Uh, man, I, 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 hey, listen, man, we international. I get on Spirit Airline anytime. <laughs> I don't know if any of the Spirit planes make it this far. Put <laughs> <laughs> out, man. <laughs> uh, no, I'm pretty active on socials, on Instagram, Twitter. Um, I don't really use Facebook too much, but it's just at uh, the Monster T H A M O N S T A R. And, uh, yeah, I, I pretty much just work in marketing and, and venture capital over here in, in Australia. And I do a lot with the NFL and international pathways and helping a lot of kids from Australia get out. So hopefully we'll see a lot more guys from Australia getting over there and um, slowly in the process. So it'd be cool to get some more over there. And I'm looking to get stateside towards the end of the year for this 10-year anniversary for the national championship. Missed last year's one because of COVID. 
and being locked down out here. But um, I'm definitely going to try and get out there. So you'll, you'll be seeing me strolling around on the strip, hanging out at Chipotle. We and gonna be able to miss you. Kenny, hopefully in the year. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hang out at Chipotle or you gonna shut Chipotle down? <laughs> They're gonna have a I'm side of beef. They're gonna have, have a shout to the line, huh? <laughs> They're gonna have a side of beef waiting on him, choice. man. What you talking about? <laughs> Before we go, I want to remind everybody, if you have not hit the like button, go ahead and do that. Again, follow us on all of our social media, at the Bama Standard on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you want to catch any of our uh, other episodes before we became part of the TDA family, the Justin Riley Network That's YouTube right. channel will show everything you need to see. Guys, great show. We enjoyed having you. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Yeah, yes, boy. Roll Tide. Roll tide. Roll tide.